Hello. And welcome to The Picture, a Coke Industry Spotlight series offering a look at the transformational and inspirational stories happening right here in Wichita. I'm Melissa Scheffler. Starting a new business is full of challenges, no matter how you look at it. Now imagine trying to do it when you speak a different language and the resources to help you aren't so readily available. That's the story behind this restaurant in Wichita's North End. Socorro Garcia's idea for Las Delicias started when she was a little girl in Mexico. After decades of working other jobs and raising a family in Wichita, she was ready to make her dream a reality. But Socorro did not speak English and was unaware of some business requirements in the U.S. Socorro's son, Santiago Castillo, went to school and accepted a job at Coke. He uses his business knowledge to help at Las Delicias. Santi says Wichita's North End is filled with aspiring business owners who face the same barriers as his mother. We're in an area where the poverty rate's a little bit higher and, and there's a knowledge gap when it comes to different um, just business practices in general. Now, one Wichita nonprofit is hoping to make entrepreneurship easier in the community. And so the idea of Empower Evergreen was helping people unlock their potential. Um, you know, our mission is through education, workforce, and small business development. And really what we're doing is educating people and truly giving them those skills to help empower them. We visited Las Delicias to hear more of Santi and Socorro's story and what they think about the new Empower Evergreen initiative. When you visit Las Delicias, you can't miss this mural featuring a young Socorro Garcia, the restaurant's owner. Her son, Santiago Castillo, or Santi, says it represents the colorful world his mother always imagined and her journey from Mexico to Kansas. It also includes an inspiring message. It translates to, you'll love more what you earn or what you work for. So just pretty much, just try your best at everything and then you'll, you'll appreciate it and you'll cherish it a lot more. So Cora, can you tell us about how Las Delicias came to be? Empecé allá en la calle con un carrito de frutas. A uh, poco a poco la gente me iba pidiendo más cosas. El inglés era una de mis barreras. Mm, las ayudas y de un solo dije no, es mi tiempo. Ahora yo voy a ir por lo mío y decidí abrir mi negocio. For entrepreneurs like Socorro, it can be challenging to learn the complexities of taxes, permits, and regulations that are required to run a business, especially when language barriers exist. That's why an organization called Empower Evergreen is currently expanding its capabilities in Wichita. A collaboration of more than 30 community partners, including Coke, are helping with the expansion of resources and programming inside the former local Evergreen Library. Ariel Rodriguez is the executive director. So we have different partners that will be helping our small businesses start up and really focusing on all the A to Zs of starting a business. But most importantly, we want to offer this both in English and Spanish. We want to make sure that they're on track to be able to um, have accounting classes, how to market, how to reach different audiences. Why do you need actual boots on the ground, people here in the community to make entrepreneurs successful here? Why can't you just Google? Looking at someone who recently came to one of our business classes, one of the things that she had said to me was that uh, it seemed too good to be true. But because she knew it happened at Evergreen, she felt comfortable coming. Those are things that you can't find on Google. Those are not the trustworthy relationships that are built online. Socorro and Santi realized the potential of Empower Evergreen and plan to become part of its network. We could have used it when we were coming up. And, and more than anything, I'm excited because I want to be part of it. You know, if there's, there's opportunities for us to go and mentor other businesses, we'd be more than happy. We just want the community as a whole to come up. It's just not an individual effort. We want everyone around us to, to really flourish and, and, and grow and prosper. For people like Socorro who want to launch their own business, Empower Evergreen will be a collaborative community center that helps them get started, thanks to the support of Coke and dozens of other local partners. When we return, we'll meet back up with Ariel Rodriguez, who will share his vision for the future of this community and Empower Evergreen. Welcome back to the picture. After learning about Wichita's new Empower Evergreen initiative, I asked Ariel Rodriguez, the executive director, to show us the current Evergreen Neighborhood Resource Center and the new facility that will open this fall inside the old Evergreen Library. Here's your chance to see some of the differences firsthand. You don't have to look far at the current Evergreen facility to see why the community needs a larger, more functional space. 
in our classroom space here at the Neighborhood Resource Center, we can fit just about 20 people comfortably. Um, once we move into the new center, we'll have three classrooms that are always going to be available, which gives us the 80, 90 people that we can easily fit in through different classrooms on a nightly basis. With our small business development, we want to make sure that we have our partners who are on site to able to coach and mentor people in the community who are ready to start a business and make sure that they're ready to be successful as they go out and start or even want to scale their business. But in five, 10 years, we really want to see um, this would be a uh, strong ecosystem of businesses and family residents that are staying here and building their wealth in the community and really being part of this neighborhood to make sure it has its chance and comes back strong. When you come to a library. Amy Johnson with Co-Community Affairs agrees. Creating open access to education is good for the entire city. We know that the Hispanic community is full of existing small business owners and entrepreneurs and that when that community is connected to resources that they'll be able to grow and thrive more than they are today. We're hoping that it contributes to a better and stronger Wichita, that Empower Evergreen becomes the model for other communities in our Wichita area to do something similar. On-site partners at Empower Evergreen include Kansas Hispanic Education and Development Foundation, Salud Bienestar, City of Wichita, the Wichita Public Library, and the Kansas Department for Children and Families. And here's a look at some of the community partners that are offering programming to help advance the vision of Empower Evergreen. We could not do this without community partners, and that's what's super exciting about Empower Evergreen is that we're going out there and bringing all those existing resources into this neighborhood. And Coke has the expertise to understand what the challenges that entrepreneurs face in the Wichita community. They are able to really help us as an organization understand those challenges. So many of these businesses are family ran, and so I can see every single person in that family being impacted. And that, that creates generational change. That helps create a lot more opportunity for the individuals and the family for future education and, and really expose them to new opportunities. Empower Evergreen isn't the only transformation happening in North Wichita. In just a moment, you'll hear from Gene Camarena, who purchased the historic Nomar Theater. His vision for the community when we come back. Our final conversation today is with entrepreneur and philanthropist Gene Camarena. He's working with Empower Evergreen and others to inspire economic growth in Wichita. His plans include the historic Nomar Theater. It opened up in the 1920s. Uh, it was mainly a theater for Mexican music, so they'd bring in the, the movies from, from Mexico, all Spanish language, uh, and it was, a, you know, it was a gathering place for the community. What are your plans? What, what would you hope to see this community become? Well, we'd like this to initiate what could be a really renaissance of this whole community. It starts here with, with some business incubation as well as a place for for the community to gather and hopefully it spreads, you know, more businesses, restaurants, retail spots. This is 100% my dream. Um, you know, I wake up and I think about it, I sleep on it, and I'm always bringing visions to my head about what more can we do to make this area just that much better. As an experienced entrepreneur, Gene has a mind for numbers and knows why there's a need for community resources like Empower Evergreen and the Nomar Theater. Latinos open up small businesses at twice the rate of any other ethnic group. What's startling is that only 6% of Latino businesses that start up use banks to get their financing. You want to empower a group of people who are already entrepreneurial. Uh, the problem is, is they need, you know, financing. They need uh, better education about how businesses work. Uh, how do you take care of payroll taxes? How do you market? How do you scale? All those things, and the good thing is those classes will be both in English and Spanish. What gives Gene hope for the future? He points to people like Santi and Socorro at Los Delicias. Well, Santi is obviously a role model for this, the Latino community in that he got his education, college degree, got a great job at Coke Industries, and that's part of one of the three planks that power Evergreen is education. You have one, the first one who gets that college education, then all the siblings and cousins can see that, hey, this is achievable. This is what's possible. And so we will help more families do that. 
If we find the talents and the treasures that this community has, we can make Wichita have more identity in this area and truly, truly make this a great place to be. You know, we want this place to be as vibrant as any other part of the city. And, and I think it starts here and we get this going and I think the sky's the limit here. Community leaders see big things happening in the North End, not just in five years with remodeling and construction, but now with barriers to business development being knocked down. If you'd like to check out all that Empower Evergreen has to offer, go to its Facebook page, at Empower Evergreen. You'll see events the nonprofit is hosting, the small businesses it supports, and ways you can volunteer. You can find Ariel's information there too. Thanks for watching the picture. We hope this gives you a better perspective of the positive stories happening in Wichita. We'll see you next Sunday.